Hey kids, I am so excited to be here with you again tonight, and I'm really excited about tonight's devotional. Um, my name is Samantha, I've been on here a few times, I'm not even sure how many now, um, but I am so excited to be able to do these with you, and I hope you all are, are as excited as I am. I'm just having a lot of fun with these. Um, let's get into tonight's, because it's really fun. So number 74, who's hunting who? Stay alert, watch out for your great enemy, the devil. He prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. 1 Peter 5, 8, NLT. Predators are animals that hunt and eat other animals. On the other hand, the animals that are hunted and eaten are called prey. When you think of predators, you probably think of roaring lions or snarling grizzly bears. But did you know that ladybugs are also predators? That's right, they eat other bugs. And that sweet little bird on your feeder, it doesn't eat just seeds. It also hunts down worms and other insects. Just as predators come in all shapes and sizes, they also have different hunting methods. Some predators, like hawks, chase down their prey. Others, like wolves, stalk their prey by quietly sneaking up on it. Some predators, like alligators, ambush their prey, which means they hide and wait till, until they until prey wanders near enough to be snatched. To survive, it's important for prey animals to always stay alert. It's important for you to stay alert too. That's because a predator is hunting you, and his name is Satan. The Bible says he prowls around like a roaring lion to stalk you. Satan uses the same hunting methods as animal predators. He'll try to chase you down and trap you in troubles. He'll stalk you with temptation, hoping you'll mess up in sin. He'll try to ambush you, waiting for you to let your guard down by not staying close to God. Watch out for traps and stay close to God by talking to him, praising him and studying his word every single day. Don't be easy prey. God is more powerful than Satan and he is always able to protect you from any of Satan's schemes. Be amazed. Different predators have different weapons to kill their prey. Bears have claws, sharks have teeth, and spiders have poison, but the chameleon has its tongue. That's right, the chameleon's tongue, which can be more than seven inches long, is covered in a sticky, glue-like substance. When the chameleon shoots its tongue out, the prey sticks to it and then gets slurped back into the chameleon's mouth. A quick prayer here. Dear God, I pray you will open my eyes to see the devil's traps, and I pray you will give me the courage and strength to stay away from them. Thank you for leading me. So y'all might be wondering why I'm excited about tonight's, and part of it is because it's about different animals and how prey and predators work. And also, I, before this, I didn't know that chameleons had sticky tongues. Who knew? But I'm more excited to be able to tell you that Satan is hunting you. That's right. Um, in our life group at church, we've been reading about this whole battle between Satan and God and how it is leaking over into our world. Um, you might know the story of Adam and Eve. And ever since Adam and Eve, all this trouble has come on the earth. And it's all because Satan tempted Eve in the garden and she ate the apple. Imagine life if that never happened. But Satan is out to hunt you and you do need to be on guard. And I'm excited because I get to tell you that because I get to tell you to be on guard for Satan. Um, to watch out for him because you don't want him to be messing with you. And it comes in little whispers in your ear. Oh, you're not good enough for that or you shouldn't be doing this or I don't know why you said that but he makes it think makes you think that they're your own thoughts and how awful is that that he makes you think that you're thinking these awful things about yourself or about others or how you react in ways but always know that God loves you so so much that he is always fighting for you. You have angels fighting for you. And 
just staying close to God, reading your Bible, praying to him. I like to have a notepad when I read so I can write down God's promises, his game plan, Satan's game plan so that I know how how he comes for me so that I can be on guard for those things. Um, and then just going back over and reading those. So just always remember that Satan is out there. He's very real, just like God is very real. But know that God is bigger than Satan. And you can't let Satan win when you're with God. So always be with God. Always be on alert. And if you find that Satan is whispering to you or he's really trying to get to you, don't let it discourage you. Just make it to where you pray more to God. Make Satan bring you closer to God. And that's it for me tonight. Y'all have a great evening. Bye.